I'm back in the kitchen again. Mm -hmm. How's everybody doing? Yeah, I said, I'll make a video while I'm preparing some ketchup. Well, I'm not actually going to do the whole recipe. I'm just going to start it, show you the basics while I'm ch chatting. Yeah. Got a few things here from my garden. Isn't it cute? Cute little squash. Like I said before, in my previous videos, I didn't get a whole lot this year from my garden because of the hurricane. So, but. It doesn't matter. Like they say, it's not the quality, the quantity. It's the quality. Yeah. Yeah. Because when you're making homemade relish, or tomato relish, or ketchup, or whatever you call it, you know? I call it green ketchup or green relish. Yeah, I got here, I'll show you. I got one here that I made last year. Yeah. Another one here. These were made last year. There's only so much I can eat. You know, at the same time, you guys said, I'm into cooking lately, you know, doing cooking videos. But, uh, I'm also into cooking shows. I don't know if that. Uh, Will we watch any cooking shows? Like Master Chef. Of course, Master Chef. You know, you have the American Master Chef, the UK. I watch also the Canadian Master Chef. You know. So many cooking shows out there. When I was younger, I used to watch reruns of Julia Child. I don't know if you know about Julia Child, but he called her the French chef. Awesome, awesome. And today, like, as far as cooking shows go, So many out there, uh, like also the cooking competitions. Yeah. yeah. Basically, I'm like on the Food Network or the Cooking Channel. But, uh, that's where I get inspired because sometimes I'm there and I'm saying to myself, what am I going to make? What am I going to eat? I'll turn on the TV or I'll go on the net 
and I'll find something. Yeah. But I also have to have the ingredients in stock. up because I don't want to end up eating the same thing over and over and over again, you know. And then I'll take my onions and what I do is I soak them. I soak them in water before I'm going to blanch them or well, blanch, you know, you don't know what that means. It means you boil it, you cook them, only for a couple of minutes. You don't want them to get too soggy. And then that's no good. So, I'm going to have the onions soaking. I pre-boil them also before I blanch them so that the, uh, you know, the bitterness of the onions gets out at the same time. Besides cooking shows, have we watched any good shows lately or movies? The other night I watched Christine, you know, the horror movie, well, action, horror, sci-fi, whatever. No, it's not sci-fi. That's just horror action. They call it horror action. I watched that. I could watch that movie over and over again. It's, it's a good movie. And what else did I watch? Oh, yeah. I watched... Uh, Fool's Cold with Kate Hudson and uh, Matthew McConaughey. Yeah. That's a cute movie. You know. It's got everything in it. It's got the drama. It's got the social. It's got the action. It's got the comedy. It's got everything. Yeah. I got my Tomatoes here. I got little, little green tomatoes out of the garden. Got a few of them. And I've only got a few. I gotta go get more after. So depending how much I'm gonna make. So, because when you're making your relish or your ketchup, you know. Definitely, gonna, you're going to need pickling spices. Yeah. I got pickling spices here. I don't know if you can see it. That's a mix of all kinds of spices. Yeah. Yeah. When you get the pre mix like this. You can go pretty far, depending on how spicy you want. But uh, four, I would say, four jars. You know, you're probably gonna use about maybe four tablespoons of pickling spice. And you can put it in a little net. Or what I do is I put it in a strainer and I just let it soak in the water because of course you're going to add water you're going to need vinegar white vinegar
some nice white vinegar. I also throw in a little bit of apple cider vinegar. Yeah, just a touch. You don't want to add too much. I put in, a, like they say in French, like a, a soupçon, you know, just a, a little, a little touch, a soupçon, just a touch of olive oil. sugar if you want or you can use the you know those you know other brands you know, with sweet sweet and low whatever they call them you know? yeah. honestly I prefer brown sugar it gives it just enough sweetness because you don't want your relish over sweet. So you're going to want to add that to your water and vinegar mix. And you're also going to need some salt. So use because of my high blood pressure I use no salt also a lot of times my cooking yeah go so no salt SMR, you know, autonomous sensory meridian response. It's to help you tingle and relax. So, for those that didn't know, that's what it's all about. Plus, people have asked me so many times, you know, just my voice because there's nothing more soothing than a nice relaxed voice oh. let me know if you agree I'm gonna get back to my job because I gotta let all this soak you know for at least an hour before I get cooking. So I was repairing my stuff. And just to get back to what I was saying before, like also like some of my favorite movies or favorite shows, like my shows I watch. Besides, you know, I watch Big Brother. I watch Survivor. I watch The Traders. Especially when they're gonna, they're gonna come out, like hopefully for, like a new one for Canada, hopefully. I'm gonna see, but even if it's a 
no matter what it is, even if it's British or American, uh, you know, I'm gonna watch it for sure. I watch those types of shows. I'm sorry, but I don't watch like the the girl shows. No, I don't watch that. You know, the Housewives of Dubai and stuff like that. I, oh, I, can't, I can't watch those. No, it's not my it's not my thing. Oh. That's not my thing. No, don't watch that. I do like watching also, you know, Wheel of Fortune and shows like that, but... Oh, and now I'm watching... Yeah, I don't know if you've heard about The Ark, the show, The Ark. I watched last year's season, and now season two. Well, I'm watching that now. I'm addicted to that one. I love sci-fi. So, definitely something I'm watching and besides other movies like they're gonna have you know Beetlejuice 2 coming out I've seen all the John Wick movies except for the most recent 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 one that's coming out and uh, besides that uh, other action movies well, they're all old ones. Like all the old movies that I've I've watched and I rewatched them again. You know. Because some of them are so good. Like even again I watched the other day. Uh, besides again action and horror, like well the purge. You know, I've watched all those ones. You know. Hopefully one day it won't, our society won't end up like that. Hopefully not. And the governments, I guess. So I'm not getting into that. No, 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 no. But, uh. I would go to the theater, you know, but it's uh, an hour drive from here to go there and to go just sit in the theater to watch a recent movie, I'd rather wait till it comes out, you know, if it comes out like uh, on DVD or eventually it's going to come on TV, I'll watch that. You know, because it gives the thrill and the anticipation of waiting for it to come out, you know. So, yeah. And one, one of my all-time favorite movies, I guess, out of all the movies I've seen and watched my favorite movie it depends I can't if I go by categories you know of the comedy movies you know you, you got the National Lampoon I really like that those movies if you're gonna go especially the Christmas one you know, and I think out of all those ones, like Home Alone, Home Alone there, that gets me every time. I just crack up laughing. Even if I've seen it over again and over again, it just keeps on getting me. So, you know. And of course, Terminator. Yep. Terminator and all of Sylvester Stallone's movies for the action ones there yeah definitely for sure yeah, but there's so many other ones oh my God. I think I've mentioned before you know the movie like Interstellar 
Well, again with Matthew McConaughey. It's an awesome movie. Awesome movie. I really like that one. So basically that's just like a little heads up. You know, again, what I'm up to in the kitchen. And uh, I hope everyone's having a nice weekend. And yes, I've been outside. I'm not just indoors all the time either. No. I've been outdoors. Picking up uh, weeds and, you know, plants and stuff like that. Getting it ready for the compost. And before winter comes. So I hope you're doing the same. And take care. Try and relax. Kick back. And maybe if you can, watch a good movie or a show. You know, maybe while you're cooking. Yeah, good idea. Okay. So, love you. Bye for now. Bye. I gotta get back and get my stuff ready. Yeah. Put this all.